I see it. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna cry during this, so sorry in advance. <laughs> so. Good evening, administrators, teachers, parents, community members, and fellow classmates. Every time. First of all, let me congratulate everyone for the diplomas they've earned today. Good work over the years. Now let me actually get into the job I've been brought up here to do. The last speech before we turn our tassels and wave goodbye to our high school years. When writing this speech, I quickly recognized the constraints of my own limited perspective. And so I brought in my lens to us, the Clearview 2022 graduates. I drafted, revised, and edited with my sights on finding what unifies us the most. A struggle due to the numerous possible avenues I could have explored. But a Clearview pioneer does not back down from a challenge. And that's what we all are in the end, pioneers. So without further ado, welcome to draft 10 of the graduation speech. While it's tough to admit, our class will undoubtedly be known as the one most affected by the pandemic. Whether it was the loss of traditional schooling or high school defining events, the inability to participate in clubs or sports, or the added strain to finalizing our post-graduation plans, we faced many challenges. But you wouldn't think so if you looked at our class right now. There are smiles all around, but why? Shouldn't we be irritated, annoyed at our missed potential? Well, maybe a lesser class would have, but we don't fit that criteria. Instead, we rolled with it. We made the best of every single situation that came our way. Because, simply put, we can't change our circumstances. Sometimes they're simply thrust upon us. What we choose to do with these things out of our control is the defining feature of who we are. This pioneering spirit, there's a little crowd of spirit for you, is present in all of us. We did not give up. We continued on until we reached the summit of our compulsory education right here and now. An act that if you, def an act that if you ask defines me much more than a mere worldwide event. I didn't write this speech to emphasize our challenges, but instead to highlight how little these seemingly mountainous hurdles really matter, for it is the brilliant moments in which we were able to shine and rise above them that will dictate how we recall these years. Because when you get down to the bare bones of it, those peaks we experienced during these four years, whether they were making a game-winning play during a game, participating in a club, excelling in academics, or sharing what makes you unique, these peaks where we found our efforts rewarded truly define the class of 22. So as we move on to whatever is next for us, be it military, college, trades, or the workforce, these moments of self-determinism are the most important to remember. If writing and thinking about this speech has taught me anything, it's that our class is one that I am proud to be a part of, and a class that Clearview will honor for its ability to flourish in the face of this new normal. So, wherever the road of life takes you, go proudly knowing that all the moments that led you there were decided by you and you alone. Goodbye and good luck in all that you do. And once again, Congratulations, class of 22. This concludes my speech.
Thank you.